Hi guys, I just want to do a quick video on Ender 6 printing Pet G. Uh, if you guys have problem warping with Pet G, uh, you might want to try a higher bed temperature. So on my Perusas, I usually print at 85 degrees uh, on the bed and it's it never warps. Uh, with this guy, I don't have uh, I don't have any maps, height maps. Um, so I don't have a like a BL touch or anything, but you can see everything's printing real good. This is all uh, leveled by hand, and um, the way I could do it is I set the heat bed to 95, so set it like 10 degrees higher than uh, normally. And I'll actually get because of the inefficiency bed of the ender, in the ends, you'll actually get 80, even less than 85. In the middle, I'll get like like 90. So if you set it to 95, it makes sure the whole bed is somewhat around 80 to 90, right? Um, so that has really helped me stick everything before I was using brims and stuff. This is no brims, it's just on glass and you can see everything sticks on really well. Um, so yeah, with the enders, uh, definitely measure the temperature. If you're having warping issues, it's most likely your heat bed is not hot enough. Same with other materials, but uh, Pet G is probably the most um, one you might have trouble with. But I'm getting perfect prints. Um, I know this wiring is crap because this is my dinosaur. This is one of my first printers I got, and I just don't want to work on it. So I just, I just literally electric taped everything and zip tied it. Um, it's I've had zero issues not working. Uh, Homero upgrade, and then I put the Z-axis stabilizer, and it prints pretty good. I just use it for printing stuff that I, uh, you know I don't want to use my other printers. But yeah, Ender Six. Um, just set your heat bed higher and everything sticks really well and then don't use the, the, the other side I use just use the glass side it prints so much better and you get these nice like glass like finish at the end have a great day